Hey everyone, this is Brady Hunt with Skip Shot Games. I am going to do a demo playthrough of Taxi Derby today with my wonderful wife Bailey. And so I'm going to cut to a feed, an over, overhead feed up here um, using another phone of the game board. And we will walk you guys through a few turns of Taxi Derby and hopefully that can give you a feel for how the game works. Okay, so we're going to walk through set up, a little bit of setup for Taxi Derby right now. Um, Bailey's going to go ahead and start stacking the passenger tiles and putting them on the board and I'm going to just randomly pick three uh, or sorry two upgrades to assign to each store um, so I will find this the stores on the board that have this mechanic icon map icon and I'm putting two upgrades onto each of those stores and my player stacks we're stacking them by different um, passenger types and so we stack a certain number so that as the game progresses, the passenger types um, follow the flow of the game, and we just need five of those stacks. So, get all these stores taken care of here. Um, so currently in the rulebook, we distribute these upgrades just randomly. Um, so I'm kind of just grabbing two. If if you want a more strategic game, you could uh, be very careful to balance types, but sometimes having a random setup too adds a little bit of asymmetry to how the game progresses. So that's good too. Okay, so I'm gonna lay these passenger stacks and then flip the top two. Yeah. I lay them in the, the three person icon or multiple person icon like this, and then you flip them into the single person icon. Yeah. So I'll put the stack there on the group icon and then flip individual passengers over to each of these. Put this one. Flip these two. Okay. Okay, so with that, we are all set up with upgrades and passengers on the board. Uh, the last thing left to do is just to place our track um, our furthest traveled tracker uh, cube at the start there um, and then Cop. we'll place yep cop station. starts at the police station and um, for simplicity here I'm just gonna start at this uh, airport and Bailey can go ahead and start at the uh, wherever you want to choose to start <laughs> um, I'll start here in the rule book we'll have a mechanism where people actually get a draft their starting positions um, but we've just, for simplicity, chosen some upgrades and picked starting locations. We also both started with an upgrade. Yeah, so. so I've got a Wi-Fi upgrade to begin with, and Bailey's got a stereo upgrade to begin with. Um, okay. So yeah, so I will go ahead and go first, and um, I'm just scanning the board really quickly to see if anyone needs my Wi-Fi upgrade. It looks like Jordan over here needs a Wi-Fi upgrade, and I can see, based on his icon on his tile, that he's going over here to the Luxury Suites. So that could be a good one for me to, uh, to try and grab. Um, so on the left is your requirement, on the bottom is where they're going, and on the right is the payout. Yep. So higher payouts are good. It looks like only one coin for most of these people, I think, for my first turn. And the other thing I'm thinking through right here is I have four movements and two actions before I start getting into speeding. So I can always do four movements and two actions, and then I can potentially do um, more movements if I decide to speed on my turn. Um, so I think for my first turn, I am just going to go two spaces here. So one, two. This icon here lets me know I can pick up Dustin. So I'll pick up his tile, put it onto my player mat in this spot right here, um, showing that he's on board. And then I still have some movements and I'm quite a ways away from the cop car right here. So I'm gonna try and speed a little bit my way over to the stadium. So I will go three, four, five, six. And I think I'm gonna just speed two. So I will go ahead and roll this dice. Looks like I've rolled a two. So the cop's gonna come four towards me. One, two, three, four. And now the my turn's ended, Bailey's turn. So I'm starting here. I'm going to pick up Nelly. So I'll go one, pick him up, put him in to my car spot. And then I'm gonna head towards the airport. So two, three, four, I'll go five. Okay. So I just sped one, so I'll roll my player die, or the cop die, yep. and then I just move one. 
So I just sped one and this top um, triangle is a one. So we multiply those together and that's how much the cop moves. Yep, and then one thing that you should do at the end of the term we forgot to do is just flip over that next passenger tile. So here we've got agent R that just came onto the board and then agent Q uh, for Bailey up there. So I'm still here. I'm gonna finish this route to drop off Dustin. So I'll go one, two, three. Now I'm at the stadium and I can uh, move Dustin below my player mat to this delivered section. I'll collect my one coin for that. So I've gone three movements and done only one action. And so now I can continue my route uh, on, on down here to Jordan. And I will move two, one, two. So this is the first time where I've sped and now I'm doing my second action. And this section action that I'm about to do here, picking up Jordan, is actually dependent on the cop not catching me and issuing me a, a fine that I can't pay. So in this case, I have, I've only sped one and the cop car can't catch me, but let's say I had sped more. If he did come catch me, then I may or may not be able to pick up Jordan. So I'll go ahead and roll that. It looks like it's four. So I'll go one, two, three, four. A couple in here. And then I can complete my last action to go ahead and pick up Jordan. And I will flip this over since it's the end of my turn. Okay, I will continue to go towards the airport. One, two, three. Drop Nelly off at the airport. Put him in the delivered. I get one coin for that. And then since I've just done one action and three moves, I'm gonna go, let's see, I'm kind of a ways from the cop, but. So I've done three, I'll go four, five, six. So now I'm speeding two. I'll roll four. Four. It's gonna come eight. So he can come towards me. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. God dang it. it. Okay, so now I have a traffic ticket. So I flip that over and it takes out my speed upgrade. But looking on my board, I don't have a speed upgrade, so I can't pay the ticket. So then the cop takes me with him. Um, to the police station and I lose any passengers that were in my car but I don't have any. So, yep. Brady's turn. Okay, so I'm going to try and get Jordan over here to the luxury suites. I can't speed too much because the cop's kind of in the vicinity but I will go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five, and then I will roll this dice to two, one, two. Bailey's turn. Okay. So I would like to get an upgrade. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and I'm going to buy a turbo upgrade for one coin. And that's all I'm going to do. But since I only moved four and I didn't speed, I can move the cop away. So I'm going to move him towards Brady. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. So the cop is very, it's gonna be close, one, two, three. It looks like I can just get there with four. One, two, three, four. Made it to the luxury suites. Go ahead and drop off Jordan and collect two coins for that. But in this case, it would be probably a bad idea for me to speed anymore. So I will not choose to speed and instead will move the cop car towards Bailey. One, two, three, four. Okay. I am going to look around and see who needs any of the upgrades. Do I need to flip any others over? No, I think all the passenger like tiles it. are good. Okay, I'll go for Luke. One, two, three. I'll pick up Luke. Now the cop is right there, so I'm just gonna go four and then be done, but I'm gonna move him away from us. One, two, three, four. Nice. Okay, so let's flip over this one. Yeah, good call. Um, so right now I have three coins and I don't have any passengers in my car. And the rule is you cannot upgrade your car while you have passengers on board. So this is actually a good time for me to go maybe grab an upgrade. So I'm just trying to scan what my options might be. There's a $1 store right here with a turbo and luxury upgrade. So I think I'm gonna head my way down there and go one, two, three, four, um, to this arrow right here, which lets me know I can buy upgrades and I will pay one coin to grab the turbo upgrade. And then I can move away from here. So the rule is you cannot buy multiple upgrades from a given store in the same turn. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
So I cannot currently buy that, that second upgrade. If I wait, I can maybe buy one on my next turn. Um, so I think I will wait here and just end my turn by moving the cop car away again. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm heading towards the stadium for Luke. So I go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go five, risk it. Okay, so the cop can go towards me. Three, one, two, three. I get to drop off Luke. And I pick up one coin for that. Nice. So I am starting at this upgrade store on my second turn so I can pay another coin to grab this luxury upgrade, um, which would be great. And now I should have some options available to me. I think I can do this passenger here, Steel Ing. Um, Larry, I can also try and grab. Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, the route's kind of far. Um, I think I think I'm gonna go for. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for Larry and and then head on. Oh boy, indecisive here. Okay. I changed my mind. I think I'm going to go after this four coin passenger down here. It's a long route, but I'll pick someone else on my way maybe. So I'll go one, two, three, four. I'm going to go five, six, and speed two and risk it. And I roll this. It's a one. So I'm going to think I'm going to get away with it here. Just one, two, and I'll be able to pick up this agency. And uh, since I sped, um, you're limited to just one action after you begin speeding, so that's my only action on this turn. Okay, since I don't have anyone in my car, I'm going to get an upgrade. One, two, three. I will take a luxury upgrade, which is one coin, because we're at the one coin um, spot. And then I'll just, I'll stay there, but I'll move the cop. One, two, three. Okay, um, so this passenger that just got flipped over here is actually, uh, looks like it's gonna be a good one for me as well. So I'm gonna grab that one to start my turn. I have two passengers and um, then I'll go ahead and move. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go five, I'm gonna go six. So speeding two, here we go. It's a three. Oh, you got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, nice. So I'm safe there, and then I'll flip this over for Bailey to start her turn. Okay, so I'm going to pull forward one, two, three, four. Pick up Agent R. Nice. And then I'm going to head back to the stadium. Ooh, I don't know. Five? <laughs> I'll just speed one. So get you. Oh, you're safe. One, two. Nice. I'll flip this one over. Um, okay, so let's get Agent E over here to Luxury Suites. One, two, three. Drop off Agent E. Um, so Agent E is the type of passenger actually that has a multiplier on his fare. And so it's two coins times the number of agents delivered, including that passenger. So for this first one, that's going to be just two coins. So I'll grab that. Um, now I've done three movements, one action. I'm gonna keep going. Four, five. We'll keep going. You want me to? <laughs> yeah. I'll go six. I think. Ah, I don't know. I'm nervous. I don't think I'm gonna go six. I'm gonna stop right there. Five. Kay. I'm gonna roll this. Ooh. Ooh thank goodness. Uh, one, two, three, four, and I'll stop there. Okay. So I just noticed that Jennifer um, came onto the board. So I'm going to go back and grab her because I have her. Um, the luxury upgrade. So that was one, and then I did one action. Yeah. And this is closer, so I'm going to drop Jennifer off first. Two, three, four. Yeah. I'm yeah, staying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no more risking. Okay, where are you going to put the cop? Okay, yeah, let's get him out of here. One, two, three, four. Bailey's very kind. She likes to have the cop nowhere near us. Um, <laughs> Okay, so it looks like I can maybe get Agent C where he needs to go this turn. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I will roll this. Hope it's not a four. It's a one, one, lucky. Uh, just move two, and then I can now 
grab this four coin payout for agent C. I'll trade a five for one there. Okay, I'm gonna drop Jennifer off. So I go one, two, drop her off. That's one action. Three coins. Woohoo! Thank you, Jennifer. Nice. And then I'm gonna keep going. Um let's see, I'm gonna go four. Five. <laughs> um, You're good. I think you six. You're good there, probably. Okay. I think you got room. Come on. Oh, so good. Okay. Uh, you've had worse luck than me so far. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many did you move? I did six. Oh, so you only split oh, two, right? Yeah. Yeah. There, there we go. go. So the cop comes for it. All right. So I have no one in my car again, and I've got seven coins. So right now I'm thinking upgrades again. So I've got right here is a $1 store and a $2 store and a $3 store. I really like actually the ability to do uh, this turbo upgrade. So when I get my second turbo upgrade, it's probably hard to see on the camera here, but if you want to look at this player, uh, this upgrade power in the rule book. So when you get two turbos, it's plus one to your base movement, meaning the cop won't come after you uh, until you go more than five spaces instead of four. So I am going to move one, two, three, and buy this second turbo upgrade, um, which the player or the power for that one is effective immediately. So um, spend two coins for that one. Um, I've gone three, and now I can go two more until I'm speeding. Uh, I should scope out and get a passenger. Hmm. I think. Uh, wow. That looks like oh we. Flipping over here, we forgot. Hmm. I uh, I'm gonna just go for this one since it's close by here. Uh, what is that? Four, five. Um, so I can go five, and I'm not speeding yet because the cops right there. Yep. <laughs> because I now have this turbo upgrade. Oh yeah. So right. I just uh, normally I would be speeding, and I might be in danger here. But since I have this one plus one to my base movement. I can go five without activating the speeding. So I can f pick up steel ink to finish my turn and then I will go ahead and just move the cop car away. One, two, three, four. And flip that one over. Oh yeah, flip this one over. Okay, so I'll start by picking up Agent Q and then we're gonna make a beeline to the stadium. So one, two, three, four. Not much of a beeline. All right. <laughs> Let's get him going. This I'm way. going One, to the stadium two, three, too. So. Four. We're both going to the stadium. Um, ooh, but I have this one right here that actually, maybe I'll, ooh, He's I don't have, closer. A, I don't have oh, a stereo yeah. upgrade. I don't have a stereo upgrade. And now I can't upgrade because I've got some in my car. Well, let's finish this route then. Oh. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm not speeding yet. Uh, oh boy. Six. I'm gonna go six and just. Speed. Yeah, I think you'll speed be okay. Speed one. Here comes three. One, two, three. And now they have a turn. Your turn. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Hello, officer. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Nice. Okay. So one, two. I'm dropping off. Um, Stealing. So this passenger also pays out um, a multiplier on the number of criminal passengers you dropped off. This is my first one, so it'll be one times one, just one coin there. And now I can keep moving, I think. Ooh, maybe I'll do that one, because it's close by, and I already have one criminal. So move one more, and then pick up this passenger shady D for my last turn. So this will be the first VIP passenger we flip over. Let's see who it is. Joe, Joe loves the stereo and he's got a five coin payout. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going toward the stadium. One, two, three, four. I'm going five, two towards me. Okay, so I, since they're going to the same location, I can drop them off. One action. Let's do this one first. Four coins for Agent R. Nice. One, two, three, four. And then Agent Q is a two multiplier for 
the other agents that I have. So now I have two, and so it'll be two times two, which is another four. I'll get five and put one back. Okay. Um, so I'm headed over to the mall to drop off my passenger. So one, two, three, four. Drop off Shady. Um, this time I get two coins. My second criminal passenger delivered. And let's see, Stadio. Well, I guess, I guess I could grab, I don't have any, ooh, there's actually an upgrade right here. So there's this really close by upgrade, a skip, uh, turbo upgrade. So I'm gonna move one and then finish by buying this third turbo upgrade, um, which will help me make more money for those types of passengers who require turbo. And then I guess I'll move the cob. Okay, so I was looking here and raid in would be an awesome option, but I have to have no tickets and I have a ticket, so I can't go with that one. Um, maybe I'll go with agent A because I can get a multiplier. So I'll go one, two, let's see, where was I? One, two, three, four. I'll just stop there. Okay. Um. Well, oh, this would be a really good passenger for me. At least uh, kind of far out. I guess I'll make my way over towards these. I think I'll pick up some upgrades while I'm at it. So I'll go one, two, three, four. Grab this um, luxury upgrade for one coin. And I'll go five and then I'll move the cop. I'll be done. Okay, I think that I want to get another upgrade while I don't have anyone in my car. So I think I'll head towards this one. One, two, three. Oh darn, I've gotta go around to the building. Four, five, six. Which one are you going for, this two dollars? Yeah. Thing? Oh yeah. He's far though. Maybe you could get this one first. This two. I, I know, I prefer the turbo though because I like that power better. Okay. I'm going seven. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Three and three. Yes! Okay. Seven, one. So just three? Yeah. One, two, three. Nice. But that also puts me on this board. Ooh, good point. We haven't come traveled. Yet. Yep. Once you've gone seven um, and not gotten a ticket, then you can get on this board. So that puts her in position to get a really good bonus at the end of the game. So I'll pick up... Turbo. Um, the next level of turbo. Nice. Okay, so I, um, let's see here. So I'll go one, two, three, four. Grab Lisa, who will give me a great payout because she needs the turbo and I have maxed out turbo. And then I'll go five and pick up Chase just because he's going to the same spot. So I might as well. Come on. I'm going to move the cop car. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. So I have two oh, agents. Boy. So I'm going to go and get the CIA director. So I've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to pick him up. Nice. And that's all. That is the first VIP passenger, which I guess one important thing to note, it's probably hard to see in this camera. Um, the CIA director's got this solo passenger icon in the top right. And all the VIP passengers are solo, so you can only have one person in your car while you're taking them where they need to go. Um, one player stacked down, too. Yeah, so the game is played. Two. Yeah, so the game is played until um, four of these passenger stacks are depleted, meaning that last passenger is flipped over. And so we are about halfway through the game at this point. Um, I think we'll go ahead and, and stop there, uh, giving people a good feel for how the game will progress. We'll continue delivering these passengers, getting some upgrades, collecting our payouts, and then at the very end of the game, we'll be able to total who gets these end of game bonuses and see who the winner was. Cool. Okay, so about halfway through a two player game, this is roughly what my passenger mat looks like, some upgrades and some passengers on board. Um, this is Bailey's um, player mat, in case you were curious, um, if you couldn't see in the zoomed out view how things were stacking up. 
So that was about half of a two-player game of Taxi Derby. And thank you for watching this. And for those of you supporting us on Kickstarter, thank you for doing that. We can't wait to get this game to you. Uh, thanks, everyone. Bye.